Uh, we are hooked up to uh, a late 2000, 2009 I believe it is, Volvo with a Cummins ISX. And we're gonna show you on the Texa what it can do. So first of all, we're on our parameter screen. And over here you will see there's 129 different parameters that we can take a peek at. And pretty much anything that this engine's putting out, actually everything this engine's putting out, is gonna be shown in here. Uh, this includes things that change, uh, you know, accelerator pedal position, speed, that type of stuff, along with any kind of static values. Uh, let's try to find some here real quick for everybody. So on and off switches are good ones where you can see if things are on or off currently. I'm gonna go over here to the dashboard so you can see what this is. And what this allows you to do is take a uh, look at a complete system at one time. So up on the top up here, you'll see kind of, um, you know, engine oil temperature, accelerator pedal position, and they move. I'm gonna hit the uh, accelerator pedal position real quick. And you can see how it does fluctuate and change on there as I hit the accelerator pedal. Uh, down below down here, it's giving us a view of my system. So this is the particular filter and it's showing us the, the values coming in and out of it along with the pressures, all right? So if I go to this little next screen over here, it'll give us a, yet a different view of the engine. And this one looks like it's more with the uh, turbo, the turbo outlet speed, the EGR position, must be the EGR cooler. And we'll see if there's any more in here. And there's, there's yet another one for more of the injection system. So it gives you a quick glance at the values that are happening in each system. This vehicle has no faults, but if they were there, uh, you would see them. ECU info, this gives us everything we need to know about the ECU, including the serial number, the model, everything else. We'll pop over here to activations. This is where we can run a lot of our tests. So the ones that people are always asking for are cylinder cutout tests, which would be right here. And again, we're not gonna run the engine here during the video. Um, there's the warning screen that comes up. Basically it says activate with engine, cancel to quit. We're not gonna do any of that. We're just gonna cancel back out, all right? So you can take a browse through all the different tests that are available this unit, which is it's quite a bit. Um, intake air heater, speed limit, a whole bunch. And we go over to the settings tab and there's even more we can do. Uh, after treatment filter reset, if you replace the after treatment filters. Uh, the one that people are always asking for is I wanna do a force regeneration. So let's scroll down the list here a little bit and see what we can find. And right there, particulate filter regeneration. We could run that, which would then do a force regen on the vehicle. Obviously, there's a lot of parameters that we can change in terms of max road speed, PTO speed, uh, cruise control speed, and everything else. So tons of options. Basically, everything I've ever done inside Cummins Insight, I see that I can do inside here. Uh, which is an important thing because if you're buying a tool like this, you don't want to be limited by not having certain functions available to you. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll be doing some more of these.